Hey guys, it's Loretta um, with Sparrowhawker Designs. Uh, I have come on to show you my latest creation. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is. I, I honestly, I don't know what I was thinking, people. I really don't. I, it's just, it's, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, it is a fabric and lace journal, but it also has paper in it. Um, this is going to be in my Etsy store, actually, um, and I, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what to charge for it, so I might be really undercharging, I might be way overcharging, I have no idea, but, um, anyway, uh, so the front here has one of my one-of-a-kind hand-beaded things here, I can show you that. This was a piece of glass that I found in the antique mall, and um, I um, put it on a bigger piece, and then I did a bezel around here, and then set it on some um, 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 shibori silk, and then did some more beading around the outside. And then um, I set it on... Uh, I guess this is cheesecloth, and there's a doily, and, um, yeah, there's doilies under there. And then this big piece here that goes all the way around is actually an old collar, um, a vintage collar. And up here I've just got some trim and some beads and uh, some eyelash trim, a button, and some seam binding. <laughs> I can't think straight. Um, so I'll show you the back. Um, the back, so this uh, collar wraps around, and then on the back I have put one of my antique gloves. Well, this might not be antique, actually. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, it's a glove. <laughs> uh, this is still part of that collar. And then under here I've got um, some uh, tea-dyed little doilies and some more lace. Down here on the bottom is, this is the pink lace I got from one of the dealers in Houston, Texas. And just some more lacy things. I did not put a closure on it because it closes just fine. And I, honestly, I didn't think it needed like one more bow <laughs> or one more piece of lace. I thought it was pretty lacy to begin with. So anyway, uh, we're going to go inside. So this, I tried to do this in a mixture of frilly, but yet primitive at the same time. So you will find some raw edges in it, although a lot of it you won't find. You know, some of it has been sewn. I originally wanted to sew the whole thing, but I ended up only sewing about, I don't know, maybe 60 to 70% of it. The rest is glued um, because it just became really hard for me to hide the stitches on some of the stuff so yeah anyway over here I've got uh, just some ribbon that's been scrunched up the Sun just suddenly went away uh, with some beads and some sequins this is a pocket there's nothing in it so I did the stamping and this is uh, something I bought off of Etsy <laughs> yeah <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, over here, this is part of a tablecloth, and I made a pocket there. And then inside is this journaling card that I made. Um, so the background of the journaling card, same here, is from Graphics Fairy. And then I found this image and cut it out and put it on here. It just went perfect with it. And then I added some little um, flowers. I don't know if you can see, they sparkle with some uh, green, mint green seam binding. And then I did a little stamping. So you can journal on the back of that card. <clears throat> you can also take any of this stuff out and just put whatever you want in here. Um, but anyway, so then at the next page, this was part of an old uh, pillowcase that I tea stained. And then um, this is the first journal. Now the journals in here are um, very plain. There's, uh, there are no pockets, there's no tucks, there's no nothing. It's literally just to write in. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. 
You can always add your own pockets and tucks if you want, but I kind of thought, you know, that, um, that, that this was, you know, efficient. <laughs> I guess that's the word. Uh, although I don't know if I've ever used the word efficient when it comes to crafting or art or anything before, but anyway. Um, this lady is a graphics fairy image. <clears throat> I put her on some dictionary paper and some um, scrapbook paper, and I put some paper doilies behind her and just some little stuff here, you know. You know the drill. So this page over here is... Um, it's a pocket, but it doesn't go all the way down because I've beaded here. So you can just, you know, do put whatever you want in there or nothing at all if you don't want to. But yeah, so there's some, I don't know if you can see the beads or not. This was a dresser scarf, <clears throat> old dresser scarf that I had. Um, and it is on an old table runner. So uh, over here, just some fabric, and I put a, a, a hanky with this, had this really pretty blue trim, and then I put a piece of lace over that with a crocheted flower, and this is some lace here. Here's the second journal. This particular journal is kind of like my left, you know, when you, whenever you uh, print out a digital kit, a lot of times you'll have leftovers. So this is a leftovers from one of Medieval Mirage's kits that I have printed out. Um... So everything in here is all Medieval Mirage. This is kind of a travel size one, and like I said, these are all just to write in. There are no fancy schmancy things in here. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people feel, uh, at least the people I've encountered whenever I show them the junk journals, they feel, or I give them one, they feel kind of intimidated to write in it. So I thought, well, I'm going to do all the fancy stuff here, and then they can write in the plain journals. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the center page. Um, so I loved this fabric. I just thought it was so beautiful. And this doily is actually silk. This is not cotton. And um, it's, it's amazing. It is super soft, and it's beautiful. And um, I, uh, I have one more. There were two. I bought two as a set, and I have one more, and I, that one I'm keeping. So <laughs> it took everything I had to, to let this go, but it was the perfect centerpiece, I thought. And I just put some coffee-stained... Sorry about that. That's my computer. <laughs> put some coffee-stained trim around. And then here's another pocket with just some fluffy flowers that I think I got at Hobby Lobby or someplace like that. Um, and then uh, this is the other part of that dresser scarf. And I don't remember showing the other, that page, actually. Oh, I, I didn't. I skipped a page. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, so we'll go back to this page. <laughs> And then I skipped it. I skipped a page. Here we go. <laughs> so uh, this is, um, I took two squares of lace and I uh, glued them on here. And so you have two little pockets with this little ruffle thing that I made. And, um, and then over here is a pocket. <laughs> I can't believe I skipped this. With this little um, dresser scarf. And in here is a... A very small um, journal and it is made out of a paper bag so it just you just you know like that that's really enough to kind of hold it for now um, this is an image from uh, one of my private collect my from my private collection uh, because it's a paper bag you're gonna have two pockets on this one whoops Fumble fingers. And then um, just plain paper inside. All the paper in this one is um, different sizes. It's, it's just whatever. I just threw whatever in there. Okay. Sorry about that, that I skipped that page. So then here's this is this. And we did that one. And we did the center. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay. So um, 
this is the other part of that doily. That's what made me think of it. <laughs> and I just did some trim with some flowers. And then um, and here's a journaling card that I made. So the background, I, actually this whole thing is Graphics Fairy, really. The background is Graphics Fairy, and then I downloaded some of their images. Uh, I put some lace around them, some lace here and lace here, and some bi seam binding here. And then the back I just um, put this um, uh, buh -buh, ledger paper, I guess is what you would call it. So, anyway. Um, and then over here, this these butterflies I'm pretty sure came from uh, Tim Holtz fabric, I think. Uh, and I coffee stained it so it was not nearly this dark on the, the original fabric. So here's some lace. and this I loved this beautiful big piece of lace here. And, and it is exactly the right size for this book. So... Um, which, by the way, this book measures about 8 by 10. So, and then in here is an, another journal. This is also from my personal collection. And I just put her on uh, some, I think that's Graphics Fairy paper, and some Edith Holden paper, and uh, a paper flower, and it's made on scrapbook paper with some uh, stitching. And then, again, um, just odds and ends in here, and it's just for writing. That's the center page. Put a little washi there. But, but for the most part, yeah, I didn't do it. I mean, this is, uh, this is coffee stained and stuff, but I mean, I didn't do any stamping or anything like that for the journals. I left them as plain as I could. You can always stamp what you want in there, in there. So I thought that might be kind of fun is that you could kind of finish it off. And then this page is just to look at. <laughs> you kind of have at least one of those, right? Uh, um, this page actually was just a ton of fun to make. Um, so what I did was, this is a very old hanky. I mean, really old. It had holes in part of it. Um, and I put Part, and it had this beautiful, like, this little crochet. And it's very dainty crocheted trim. So, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but, uh, anyway, and then I did some beading on it. And um, this, this is a Brandenburg lace uh, little doily I cut the center out of and used it as a frame. That's a little charm I had, and just some laces and trims. And then these are um, whatever those sparkly things are, <laughs> flat back crystals, I guess. And the image is from Graphics Fairy. So, and then uh, this is a pocket with a doily, and in here's another journaling card and an envelope. So this is uh, one of Artie Mays's left. This was left over from the Jane Austen uh, thing, so I just stuck it in here. And there's a piece of journaling paper in here. Um, whoops, going to bend it. Um, this journaling card was, um, this was fun to make too. I just did like a collage. I found this image of these two women, um, with their backs to the camera. So you can see the back of their hair styles and their big feathered hats. And at the bottom of the picture, it said, meet us face to face. And so I cut that part out and put it, you know, further down. And um, just did some collage work with some uh, music paper, some Tim Holtz ephemera, and some Artie Mays, or no, not Artie Mays, Graphics Fairy images. Um, and then some uh, of my hand dyed uh, paper on the back. And then the last page. This page is also just to look at. So this page was a ton of fun. I have. Uh, you know, being a quilter and a crazy quilter, I have a ton of like old orphan blocks and that kind of thing. So this, uh, I found this old piece of a quilt top. It wasn't even a full quilt top. It just had like 12 of these little um, baskets on it. It had not been quilted yet. And I cut them all out because, um, well, just because, <laughs> you know me, I'm going to find something to do with it, right? So um, anyway, I, I just wanted to just put that in here because I thought it was cute and it added some color. I put these wooden buttons on here and the doily and I did a buttonhole stitch around the outside and then this is silk ribbon over here that um, Roseanne gave to me in our swap 
and then I just I just scrunched it up on here and put some sequins. You know, I can talk just fine, but for some reason whenever I, I try to name things, like this is a button <laughs> on a video, my mind just goes blank. I don't know it's like what the deal is, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you want to see that a little more up close. So this is from my private collection. And um, the last page, this is a um, doily with some lace. And this is, a, I think this is a curtain. And I just dropped that card. Whoops. And inside were two journaling cards. There's this one, which I think is from the new graphics... I think this is Graphics 45. I got it. Actually, there's one scrapbook store 35 miles from me, and I, she had some of this paper, and I'm pretty sure it was Graphics Fairy. And unfortunately, I don't make it over to that store very often. And I, I put some of my uh, tea-dyed paper on the back. And then this one, uh, this was fun. This, uh... So, okay, so the actual card was in my old scrapbooking stuff from, like, 2001. And I found this image of this amazing woman who is, like, very um, um, sure of herself. <laughs> and that was kind of the... I just looked at her and went, wow, man, she, she knows her stuff, you know? Um, anyway, I think she's an actress, actually, from the Edwardian period. Anyway, I put that on here. And then on the back I put some um, antique or vintage um, mm -hmm, music paper. Uh, and I did some stamping and I did a little paper doily with some trim. And this particular image here also came from the Graphics Fairy. So there you go. That's all of it. Anyway, uh, by the time this video is up, um, it should be on my Etsy store. And... Um, it's really not that heavy either. I was expecting it to be heavier. I would say, you know, it's maybe two pounds. Um, but anyway, so, okay, guys. Um, oh, my camera's acting up. I don't know what it's doing. So uh, you guys have a uh, great and wonderful day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.